St. Anthony was born 1195 and died 1231. His feast day is June 13th and he was canonized by Pope Gregory IX in 1232. St. Anthony was born Fernando Martins in Lisbon, Portugal, and knew at a young age that he was meant to live his life in accordance to God's will. When he was 15, he asked to be sent to the Abbey of Santa Cruz in Coimbra, where he learned theology and Latin. He was eventually ordained into the priesthood and was named guest master, but when Franciscan friars settled a small hermitage outside Coimbra dedicated to St. Anthony of Egypt, he knew he had to join. Fernando received permission to leave the abbey and join the Franciscan order, and it was then that he chose to change his name to Anthony. When he tried to travel to Morocco, he became extremely ill and attempted to return to Portugal to recover, but the returning ship was blown off course and arrived in Sicily instead. The ship's party traveled to Tuscany, and Anthony was assigned to the Hermitage of San Paolo afterward. As he recovered, Anthony spent much of his time praying and studying. He was an eloquent speaker and a good teacher. He kept a book of psalms that held several notes and comments to help him teach, and he greatly valued it. One novice decided to leave the hermitage and stole Anthony's book on his way out. When Anthony discovered it was missing, he prayed it would either be found or returned. God heard his prayer, and the thief not only returned the book, he also returned to the order. Anthony was only 36 years old when he died and was canonized less than one year later. 336 years after his death, St. Anthony's body was discovered to be completely corrupt, except for his tongue, which was used to deliver eloquent homilies and perfect teachings. St. Anthony is typically depicted holding the infant Christ and a book. He is also commonly referred to as the finder of lost articles.